This is looking really crazy, you guys. <laughs> but the top trim is done. We decided to paint the door as well. Hey, farm fam! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to today's video. We are taking it back to 2020. Can't believe it. It's been almost two years since we have the barn. And if you guys don't know or haven't been around on my channel then, we did a huge long 20 something part series of building my dream horse barn that we're in right now. And we've done a couple improvement videos along the way, but nothing like hardcore working on the barn like we were in those couple months when we first got the shell of the barn and we were creating all of the stalls and everything. But back then there was a huge thing that we wanted to do and that was the Dutch doors. And at the time we just had so much going on, we wanted to get the horses in and we never were able to get the Dutch doors. And now we finally, are able to get the Dutch doors. I announced that a couple videos ago, but the Dutch doors are not the same color as this building because I wanted to change the building. We have an interruption from Dinky. Anyways, like I was saying, so today we are painting the barn to kind of go better with our Dutch doors because the Dutch doors should be here in about a week or so. So we need to get the barn painted and it's a huge job. So we need to get started. But we need to go ahead and we need to pressure wash the barn first because we want to make sure that's not super dirty or anything like that. It has been here for about two years now, so we want to make sure that it's pretty clean before we go ahead and put paint on it because we want to make sure that the paint stays as much as possible. Right, Dinky? Right? So all the horses are going to need to just stay in for today because right now we only have the horses up in the front pasture. But since we're starting with that side of the barn, all the horses are going to need to come inside. Come on, boys! June and Blaze are already in their stalls. Come on, boys. So these three just need to come inside. Come on. Hi, Junie. She's ready to attack the boys. <laughs> so if you guys are excited to see this huge improvement that we are doing to this barn, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. So this is the color of the barn now. It's kind of like a tan, yellowy, probably a little bit darker because it is kind of dirty. But we did go to Home Depot this morning to grab our supplies. So I'm gonna jump back to that footage really quick and then we'll come back here and we'll get started. So we're at Home Depot getting our supplies. We got this extra long hose for our current sprayer that we have. And then I got this and this is a coverall. I don't know if I'm gonna use it yet because it's really hot out. And I got a mask and again, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but we'll see. Then we got this drop cloth and then I actually bought another sprayer so that Mike and I can both be spraying at the same time. But this is not like the big one. I wanted to get this anyways for like indoor projects. So we wanted this anyways, but I guess it was a good time to get it because we actually need it today. So just to make the whole thing easier. So we're actually starting on the side of the back pasture. So I'm back here with the goats because we're trying to plan this accordingly with the heat. It is literally so hot out today. Right, Dinks? It's super hot. So the plan of action is that we're gonna pressure wash this side first. And then actually while Mike's pressure washing, I'm going to weed whack this so that when we paint, it doesn't get all over the, you know, obviously the grass. We don't have just like a messed up paint look. So this is why we have to pressure wash it because if you see up there, it's kind of getting like a little mildewy. So we'll pressure wash to this side and then we'll pressure wash the other side. And the other side is the side closest to like the road and that's where there's like direct sun. So right now the barn is like kind of covering us from the sun. So that's where we're gonna start with this side. And then hopefully by the time that we're done with this side, it won't be as hot out because it's getting kind of closer to the like evening a little bit. And then we'll pressure wash that side, let that side dry, and then we'll do the roof. The roof doesn't need to be pressure washed. We just went up there and honestly, it's the roof. No one really sees it. <laughs> so we are going to then paint the roof. And then once the roof's done, the walls should be dry and they might even start to dry um, sooner. Cause as you guys saw, I did buy another paint sprayer so that I can be painting as well while Mike's painting. So maybe while he's painting the roof, the walls will start to dry and I'll be able to paint the walls so that's kind of like game plan right now we need to get started because this is going to be a really big project and we need to get started by pressure washing and weed whacking a bit all the weeds have been weed whacked i ended up running out of string on my weed whacker so we have to restring it for the other side so just hold the remaining at the end. But even just that, it looks so much better. I should have done it earlier. Cause you don't realize how much of a difference the weed whacking looks on it. So now Mike is just pressure washing. So it's a little loud, but it already is looking a lot better. So I'm excited, you guys. So 
So this side is completely finished. It looks so much better. We really need to, because it's actually like starting to kind of like rust on the bottom, just because it has contact with the ground. So we got some of those flakes off of the old coloring, but this side's done. It took probably at least 20 to 30 minutes, so this is gonna be quite a fun project. So we are now moving on to the front of the barn. I didn't show you like the inspo picture this time around, but I did Photoshop what I want it to look like. But I didn't want to show you guys because it'll just give it away. You guys have to come for the long haul to be able to see what we're doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well then. Anyways, so I will tell you though that the actual B-lap siding is going to be one color and then the white trim currently is going to be a different color. So you'll see what I mean once we get there. But now it's time to pressure wash the front of the barn. So we're finally done with the front. And basically all we have left is the back, which I'm not sure if we'll do the back today. But not only do we have a back, sorry. I also have to do this side. And I gotta get rid of the weeds down below there. But Mike is getting our sprayer ready, but it doesn't look like he cleaned it very great the last time that we had to use it on the chicken coop. Look at me, Mike. What? So he was trying to prime it, and all this white paint got all over him. So he's trying again. This is why we clean things when we're done using them. <laughs> My shoes are all covered in white paint. That was fun. Look at his hands. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, we have to clean all the white paint out of it first before we start. <laughs> I'll go up there in a minute, but Mike is over there. There he is. There he is. Say hi, Mike. Hi. Okay. So he's getting ready to paint the roof right now while I pressure wash the last side. So I gotta do that because we have a big dark cloud coming near us. It says it's gonna rain in like an hour and a half, but who knows because this cloud looks really dark. So we need a buster, but because I really want the roof painted and then tomorrow we can finish the rest. So. so I'm on top of the barn, finished power washing everything, but the why the you guys can only see this is because I'm about to reveal to you guys the color of the roof. If you guys have any guesses, five, four, three, two, one. As we hear the thunder. <laughs> it's pretty far away, but it's black. It's the same exact color um, black as everything else in my house. The color is Tricorn Black by Sherwin-Williams. So, I can't wait to show you more of it, but here's the color and then I'll give you guys a little tour of what we have already. So here's this side, it's pretty much completely done. There's my goats all the way over there. So you guys can see what it looks like over here, it's drying. There's just that little section he still has to do on that side, but other than that, this side is completely done. Obviously we can't walk over there right now because it is wet still, but I will show you in a minute from that pasture over there what it looks like but we are on top of the barn look at that Tinky! <laughs> all right you guys so this is what it's looking like i cannot wait for it to be black obviously you can't really see the black roof too too much but from the pastures you can not directly on in front of the barn but it's gonna look so good and now you guys can kind of start envisioning what we might paint the wall color of this barn So this is where we are stopping for now because the lightning's getting a lot closer. As you guys can hear, that's thunder. And plus, we ran out of paint. So we got five gallons today. So we're gonna go ahead and get five more gallons. We're definitely gonna need more of our wall color paint as well. So we'll get that. But that is it for today. So I was looking for Dinky. And look at her, see if you guys can see her. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's blending in, but she's just staring at me. I was out here hollering for her. I was like, Dinky, where are you? And then I saw her in the midst of these trees. They're just her big old ears. But this is what the barn looks like from the outside. It's really hard to show you guys right now because where the sun is, it's just like not making sense in the camera. But once we finish the other side, it'll be a lot better to show you guys what it actually looks like. But yeah. Here it is. It's not the greatest picture. Oh well, you guys will see more tomorrow. Okay, so from this side you can see a little bit better even though it's not completely done. So the brown is still 
on a lot of it but at least like the little top part of the barn that's all black so we're getting a better picture here and it looks so cool it looks absolutely terrible against the tan walls but that's fine just just regard those what do you think of it penelope do you like it she's like no comment i don't care it's day two of this vlog really trying to get all this painting of the barn wrapped up so i can give you guys a Final result because I am so excited to show you guys. But all the pressure washing is done, which is good. The roof is almost done. Last night when we left off, I actually went to Home Depot and we got the rest of the paint. So fingers crossed we don't run out because we have a total of 10 gallons for the walls of the barn and then a total of now um, five more gallons for the roof because yesterday it took up more than five gallons. So. We'll see. We're going to go ahead and get right into it because we need to get started ASAP. So the roof is officially fully painted. It looks so good. I love the color. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. We also did paint like the little area right here because before it was like the small strip of the color of the sides of the barn and we decided that we wanted the whole thing just to be black just so it looked like a really big roof. So it is officially black and I love it. Now that the roof is done, we're also painting the trim black as well. So everything that's white on the barn right now is going to the black color. This is looking really crazy, you guys. <laughs> but the top trim is done. We decided to paint the door as well. And now we need to move on to the sides because we're doing that trim as well. And the reason why we're doing it like this is just because it's a lot easier this way, you guys will see, for us to do the trim since it's so high with the sprayer and then we can be a little bit more precise with the actual wall color. So that's how it's going. It's really, really hot out today and the barn looks really funky. So just, you gotta save for the process. With the back. So everything for now that needs to be painted black is painted black with the sprayer. But as far as like this little white trim and stuff, I'll do that by hand just because that's, you know, accessible. And I don't want any extra more like black overspray. So with that being said, it's time to start painting the sides of the barn. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited to reveal to you guys what color it is. And I'm sure a lot of you may already know what color it is, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get in here and we need to watch my gate because we just broke it on accident. <laughs> but anyways. We need to change out our color from the black to the color that we're going to be painting it. And here's the reveal of the color we have chosen. Are we ready? <laughs> With no surprise, white. So it's actually the same exact color as our house. So it's like a nice creamy white. And there it is. That's what we are painting. The sides of the barn. I'm so excited, you guys. Seriously, I've wanted to do this for so long. So the front is officially done, I guess unofficially done because I need to touch up things with my paintbrush, which we knew was gonna happen. The reason why we started with black is because we knew that there was gonna be overspray when we did the wall color. So we would rather that the overspray be white onto the black because it's a lot easier to cover than the overspray of the black go on top of the white. So if that makes sense, that's why it's gonna look like we're doing a lot of back and forth of each color but we needed to get the black done because we really did not want the black overspray to be on the white. We would prefer that the white overspray be on the black because it's a lot easier to cover. So that's why we did that. But it's really coming along really nicely. It totally changes the whole look of the barn. I am in love with it. And it is gonna look really good with like the whole property. So yeah, that's where we're at. Now we're gonna start the sides. We hope that the sides are gonna be a lot easier because what was really tricky was the angles up here. It just didn't, make it that easy to do but I think it'll get better along the way so 
So this side is officially done, guys. I am so happy about it. There is a little bit of overspray, like I keep telling you guys, up there, but I started to fix it over here. We just were painting the other side of the barn, so I put this trim on so you guys could see. It looks so good. I fixed the overspray over there. I got a little black, like right there, and, and, but I will touch that up now so you guys can see. It's looking so cute. I'm so happy about it. It really puts it together when the trim goes on it so I still have to do this um, we weren't able to get by the light so I have to do by the light with white paint and go all the way up there and do all that so that's what I'm gonna work on well Mike finishes this side we just went along with the side-by-side -side like we did before and did the whole top now he just needs to use the big sprayer and do the rest you guys can really see here the difference in color from the white to the tan it looks so good I'm so happy about this change it's such a huge change and as you guys can probably guess the color of our Dutch doors. It looks awesome, you guys. I'm so excited. But I don't know how much of to the trim we're gonna get done today. I'm hoping I can get the front of the barn completely trimmed done. But we do have dark clouds and rain that's approaching us. So I'm hoping I can get most of the trim done up front. But I'm so excited about this. It looks so good. So I need to put the camera down because I need to continue. All right, y'all, so this is where we are ending up right now. To get you guys a little bit of a vision of what you guys can see how it will look. I started right here, but it's obviously raining. I touched up pretty much this whole side. I have just a tiny bit to do over there. And now I stop right in here. So I just need to do around the light over here, down here, and then fix the door. But we're pretty much closing in on the front here. If only it wasn't raining right now, I would definitely have this done within the hour. But it is what it is. And it's looking really, really good. We have like a brand new barn, it feels like. It's awesome. This is how it looks from far away. So I'm standing in front of my house. Don't mind the mess, but it looks amazing. And this is what I look like after <laughs> painting all day for two days. I'm so sunburned and I was wearing sunscreen a ton of it. I kept reapplying, but just, it was a scorcher this weekend. The worst weekend of paint. I even had a hat and my sunglasses because it was unbearable. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. And I guess this is part one of painting it because we still have the rest to do, but I think this is a good stopping point because we're supposed to have like 10 days of rain. So we don't know when we're gonna pick up with this again, but I will definitely let you guys know when we do. I have a really fun video in store for you guys coming up this week, so make sure that if you aren't subscribed, just subscribe right now. And I'm actually enjoying being in the rain right now because I'm so hot. <laughs> but if you guys liked today's video, if you guys liked the new and improved barn look, then make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you chance my post notification, shout out today, shout out goes to. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.